Hey guys, getting a lot of questions about um, how to modify designs that have been already completed in ExoCAD. Like let's say you forgot to do something in a step and tried it in, it doesn't fit or doesn't look good. And you wanna go back to that original design. Well, just go ahead and find that case and hit design and hit load scene file. And it's gonna take you all the way to the end of the design. Um, assuming that you actually completed the design, it'll take you to the merge and save step. And you can see you have these green finished restorations. That's the final design that you hopefully should have printed or milled. Um, and the way that you're gonna go back and change things is go to expert mode and hit next. Alternatively, you could have just hit expert mode up at the top there in the uh, right hand side. But once you're in expert mode, you um, are going to see that you have very limited options to make any changes. And the only thing that you really have is this merge, uh, freeform merge, where you could come in here and basically sculpt some minor little things on your final parts. Maybe you could add a little contact. Um, you could maybe modify the proximal contact a smidge. But honestly, we don't really use this tool that much at all because typically if these tiny little changes needed to be done, you could have just did them uh, with a, like a felt pad or a wheel or something like that. So the real way that you, you make profound changes after you finish design is delete the final design, okay? And so to do that, you're gonna go ahead and um, highlight uh, each restoration. Um, you could hold shift and highlight them all like that. And then go to the trash can and you want to delete the merge part. See the little drop down here? You have like any kind of options of what you want to delete. You want to delete the merged part or the final part. And then you'll notice you've got a lot of other things that pop up all your steps along the way, including like, let's say you wanted to change the path of insertion. You could click um, path of insertion, you could update that. And what's cool is when you do go backtrack in expert mode like this, it keeps all your freeforming changes and it just kind of modifies that one step. Um, so this is pretty powerful. It's not like you're recapitulating all the steps, you're just modifying a thing and keeping um, all the changes that have occurred after that step. So for example, if I wanna go and change my cement gap, maybe they were too tight or something. Um, and they didn't fit, I could come up here and I could increase the cement gap. Or maybe I forgot to hit, hey, I'm milling these, I need to anticipate milling and put my tool size on there. Um, so you could do that and then when you click OK, it's gonna save those changes in that particular step while saving that step, you also do not delete any of those changes that you made after this step in the previous design. Like for example, it kept all my free forming, all my proximal contact strengths, my occlusal contacts are right where I want them. Now, if you wanna change, say a margin, you click one of the teeth in the group and you could go ahead and go to the margin line and maybe you wanna tweak the margin line. Maybe it didn't seat because you drew your margin line weird or maybe it had an open margin or you've just screwed up on that you could just tweak that hit okay and again it's going to go ahead and modify the bottom of the restoration and not mess up the top so you don't lose any of that work that you did previously and so this is how you jump around in exocad you certainly don't hit the back button um, expert mode is your friend it's one of the most valuable tools um, you use the wizard until you want to and then you could pop around in expert mode like for example here now i'm able to freeform all of these if i want to and i could you know, oh, the other thing you guys screw up is you don't have show contact areas on and you have this show interference contacts and you make it blue because you think that's, you know, the best thing to do. But if you go on to show contact areas, it's going to be this giant green contact and it's going to be five miles high in occlusion. So that's another thing that you guys really screw up. You also screw up your proximal contacts. Um, sometimes the auto adapt features don't work in ExoCAD. Uh, especially for partial coverage. So sometimes you just gotta come in in here and smooth and flatten a contact to make it the right strength. Um, this is especially true with um, certain versions of ExoCAD and 3.3, there's a bug also that will just not adapt proximal contacts against a natural adjacent tooth for some silly reason. Um, this could happen in other versions as well. So you just gotta be mindful to look at those contact areas. And again, that green contact would be hyper occlusion right there. So you want to make sure that you have with show contact areas on a true blue contact essentially and see how the adapt. Um, I just like to use my add remove and there you go. It takes about three seconds. And so um, now there's a few other things that I kind of want to review with you guys that um, you need to do after you do all these edits in expert mode. If you you could merge and save them in expert mode or if you just pop back to the wizard 
what the software is going to do is make sure that you're getting that final part. Um, so you could either um, hit the merge and save. It's that orange circle down there bottom with like the race flag, or you could just go back to wizard and it's going to automatically merge and save those with all your changes perfectly saved. It will update the construction.info file and everything like that for your milling or printing. So you're good to go. Now, if you go to tool settings, there's a few things I want to go over with you guys. Um, some of you all have the setting where when you go into freeform, it automatically cuts all your intersections and that's screwing you guys up because it gives you like these little mushrooms and stuff like that. So if you go down here and you could see it right there, you want to make sure that's turned off. It's the automatically cut intersections. Um, there is, it also shows up in a few other spots. So we got to go down to add on modules and you want to go down um, right here and you want to make sure that you turn that off as well so it's not going to automatically cut all intersections uh, once entering into freeform the other thing is like you guys don't have your contact areas on you have show interference contacts and so you're making these hyper occlusion things this should all be done who by whoever you purchased exocad with um, you guys need to lean on your distributors a lot more to help you out but anyway i hope this helps you guys understand these very basic features in exocad